before you're all wondering, have I gone start staring mad? There's something I'd like to read out to you. It's from Frank here. And it's to me. He doesn't very often write to me, so this came as a bit of a surprise. Peggy, for me, this is... Oh, there he goes again. Trying to spoil my big moment. You're just going to have to hold your horses, sweetheart. My dear, darling Peggy, I've been racking my brain to think of a good way of saying this. But the truth is, there is no good way. It breaks my heart to say it, but I'm leaving you. Perhaps there's a small part of you that is aware that no matter how hard I've tried, I've never quite been able to stop myself loving Pat. I fell in love with her the day I met her, and the feelings have never gone away. I might have learned to live with that if it weren't for the fact that she feels the same way about me. <laughs> We've both of us struggled long and hard to hide these feelings and pretend they weren't there. But when the four of us went on holiday with Terry and Irene to Spain, Pat and I found ourselves unable to pretend any longer. These last few weeks have been pure torture for us both. Neither you nor Roy deserve this. You are both fine people. And I pray that in time, you will find it in your hearts to forgive us for the pain that we have caused. By the time you read this, we will both be long gone. With great affection, Frank. So, why they're still here is a bit of a mystery. But one thing I've learned since I've been married to Mr Butcher is never underestimate his capacity to make a cock up of things. Apologies to all of you who've already received the invitations to the renewal of our wedding vows. No doubt they'll be collector's items soon. So, all that remains for me is to present the prizes. <coughs> Oh. Oh. Hope you all enjoyed the fireworks. Good night. <laughs> That's it, go on. <clears throat> Get out. Get out!